Dear colleagues, well, allow me to introduce my work, Modern Methods of Radiotherapy in Breast Cancer Treatment. So it's no secret that the majority of patients need radiotherapy at a certain stage of their treatment. Radiotherapy allows to decrease uh, the risk of local regional relapses and improving OS levels. Uh, and with the regional lymph nodes have lesions or not, patients has to go through radiotherapy after surgery. If uh, there are lesions of lymph nodes, uh, regional lymph uh, node flow has to be radiated. Uh, so it it is beneficial for overall survival. Here you see that if after radiation of residual tissues of breast, boost is um, um, performed. Um, so it allows to achieve better results, and there is reduction in the rate of relapses. Radiotherapist, when choosing boost, uh, faces an issue either to use remote radiotherapy or linear accelerator or using uh, radio tissue therapy. Here we compare the volumes of irradiated brain um, uh, breast tissues, uh, tissue radiotherapy, for example. And it happened that the volume of radiated tissue is lower using brachytherapy, and the rate of relapses in this group is lower versus patients who went through treatment on linear accelerator. Whom shall we offer such boost? Our colleagues divided such patients into three groups, into high intermediate risk as to low risk of relapse. I will tell you about it later. As to high risk, these are young women who have three negative subtype and they're recommended to increase the dose for the bed of the tumor. Radiotherapy is not an absolutely safe method. And we see that researchers have shown that each additional gray uh, in, on myocardial increases vas cardiovascular disorders by 7.4% after the course of radiotherapy and whether the patient had cardiovascular disorder at the time of chemo radiotherapy doesn't matter as to the burden on healthy tissues. So it's clear that lung and breast uh, so has less burden in chemo radiotherapy. Partial radiotherapy, that is partial radiation um, of uh, breast, is gaining momentum. This is a fashionable study allowing to decrease the um, timelines and burden on critical borders. Partial radiotherapy is often conducted uh, with the low risk group. These are all the age uh, patient groups with favorable uh, subtypes of breast cancer. And there is excellent distance less than two millimeters. Here's a trial. We studied the group with classical radiation of residual tissue of breast and partial intra um, uh, radiotherapy and uh, less free uh, survival datum uh, well, was not obtained. They initiated new trial with more than 1,000 patients. They divided patients into similar groups, and we didn't see significant differences in the relapses uh, of uh, breast cancer, so partial uh, therapy proved its efficacy 
and occupies its niche among methods of radiotherapy. Whom do we contact partial radiotherapy? These are women older than 50, 60, with a tumor less than three centimeters, clear margins of rejection of the distance two millimeters. The rejection status has no importance. How shall we visualize tumor bed? It depends on the surgeons, oncologists, who perform organ-saving treatment. During surgery, they have to install uh, inter-tissue traces. So, catheter, uh, so the doctor will see uh, the um, localization basing on such traces. So, as boost and partial radiotherapy, they are a routine method. Nowadays, intra-tissue radiotherapy was conducted in more than 350 patients as boost, and partial one with 50 women as two stages. And uh, where these intra-tissue traces are, we conduct catheter topometry, visualize, uh, make visualization or imaging of traces. We treat uh, the patient. This is an invasive method. We install the first interstate and then perform additional catheterpometry. And w then we understand the volume of tissue we, where we have to introduce interstate uh, to cover the whole volume of breast. So. Here you see the grid, and the distance between the apertures is five millimeters. Here we can adjust the uh, setting of interstates, but we install with the interval of 1.5 centimeters, achieving great uh, dose coverage. After installation of interstates, we install special fixing devices which minimizes uh, the movement of interstates in breast tissue. This is catetopometry and we plan radiation. You see a C uh, screenshot and the maximum of the dose is in the tumor bed. That is in the tissue of the breast where there are traces. And then there is a session of radiotherapy. This is brachytherapy device. We connect a device to each interstate. And then there is radiation with certain depth and intensity. How many sessions do we give? We put a special radiotherapy as a basic method. It's eight sessions. On Monday morning, we insert interstate. The first session is on Monday evening, and the eighth session is on Friday, mo uh, uh, Friday morning. And then we take out interstates, and then we complete the session. It takes five days. If it is intertissue radiotherapy is boost, additions to the tumor bed, and after the course of remote therapy, we look at the margins of resection if they are less than two millimeters. Uh, we organize three sessions. If it's more than two, it's two sessions. Treatment takes one, two, one or two days. And the efficacy of partial radiotherapy and boost on tumor bed uh, has been uh, proven. There are minimal complications risk, and there is smaller volume of radiation and less burden on neighboring organs and tissues. A very good effect after we treated many patients. We started to look how this traces fit into the project, the uh, projection of tissue scar. We s uh, look at uh, skin traces and intra-tissue traces. In two-thirds of cases, we see that intra-tissue traces 
and not in the projection of post-surgery scar. So it happens that if a patient is without the intratissue method, no signs of interference, and we don't see the scar, and there is 10 centimeters of post-surgery scar, and tumor is 1.5 centimeters, there will be no addition to the tumor bed. And surgeons should mark tumor bed for to, well better work of radiotherapists. It is uh, if it is radiotherapy for distant breast cancer. So in the, where the patient has one regional lymph node and there is mastectomy, we have to conduct radiation of the residual soft tissues of the zone of regional lymph outflow. Estoadjuvant, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. It, here we have to understand and you have to identify the group with low and high risks of relapse. Here, more relapses are in breast tissues after organ saving operations. So, in the sky, if the tumor is more than five centimeters as to the age, and there are higher risks in younger patients, unlike. Uh, so we have to divide patients and those have low risks where we receive complete pathomorphological regression. How shall we identify the group which have low risk of relapse? Mama scintigraphy is the method allowing to diagnose and assess the efficacy of new adjuvant therapy. With a precision of 93%, we can say whether we have received pathomorphological regression or not. It's a predictive histological test. The same concerns lymph nodes. Mama scintigraphy and neoadjuvant chemotherapy can help to identify the group where we achieved complete clinical regression and reduction of surgery intervention. In our institution, there will be a trial due to non-surgical treatment of patients and we will not recommend surgery. There will be radiation of residual tissues and zones of regional lymph outflow. Here are publications of 2019. Different nosologies and recommendations for radiotherapy. If it is breast cancer, 87%. Patients who need radiotherapy as combined treatment.